Hello, my name is Lucas Kwiatkowski. If this is your first time here, I'm a full-time Amazon PPC manager. And the idea of these videos is to help smaller sellers manage your own PPC. I know a lot of people are doing it at this point. So I'm gonna let you inside my head, how I analyze things, and hopefully I, I can efficiently help you manage your accounts. Go ahead and subscribe to the videos. I'm gonna try to keep up with all of the changes that are coming to PPC right now. All right, for this video, I wanna go through bulk uploads. Now, I think when a lot of people hear bulk uploads, it scares them because you look at the Excel sheets that Amazon gives and they're pretty confusing. You gotta be very exact with what you're doing. But once you learn it once, it's very easy and it's the best way to manage your campaigns moving forward. So I'm gonna go through two steps. One is how to set up new campaigns with bulk uploads. And then two is how to adjust your existing campaigns and by adding negative keywords. Now, what I've done here is I have taken a search term report. So this is a search term report as far back as it can go. I suggest you do this. If you haven't done this yet, I would, do, I would download a search term report for as long as you can and go through this. So this is how it would be raw. These are neckties. And so what I'm looking for here is I just want to these are neckties and again okay so just i'm just changing a couple of these columns here i want to see what acos is looking like make sure we get this all on the screen here all right we've got all of our metrics here now what you would do when you open this open the search term report is sort the clicks from largest to smallest and then sort the sales from smallest to largest what we're looking for here is all of these search terms or keywords that have clicks with no sales. Now, you you know, I do this for most of my accounts, but you can see here, if you come in, there's probably a couple hundred dollars on this account alone with all of these clicks and no sales. So to do this, the second thing I've done here is I have, this is a, the bulk upload file here. So if you come here, you wanna go download a bulk operations template. And this is what this will look like here. All right, so this is the bulk upload. And it defaults to the sponsored products. And you wanna start to match these columns to what you have. Now, this is very easy to do. You come back to your search term report and you take all of these search terms that are not getting any, any sales. So you need four columns for each of these. First off, you need the campaign name. So let's go through here and let's say we want anything with more than 10 clicks and no sales. So all the way down here, you know, I'm stopping where it's 10 clicks. I'm gonna copy all of those into my bulk template. That's gonna go in this keyword file right here. So keyword, boom, you've got all of those. Now you want to get the campaign name for those because this is a bulk upload. So you need to tell the file what you're doing with these. So campaign name, you plug it right in there. You also need the ad group. So you take the ad group name because if you just did the campaign name, it wouldn't work. Each of these are in different ad groups. So you take your campaign, come back over here, and you put in the ad group name. You've got the campaign name, the ad group name, and what keyword you wanna do. Now next, you want to make sure you're adding these, so match type. You can see you can add broad phrase exact, negative phrase, negative exact. We want all of these as negative exact. So you take this, and you're gonna drag it down to the end here. So all of these are gonna be negative exact. Now, one thing to note is we do have ASINs in here and it will give you some errors. It won't let you add those, but it's not gonna stop anything. And then the last step is status is enabled. If you didn't do this, none of these would show up. So make sure all of these are enabled. That's it. That's all you have to do for adding negative keywords in a bulk file. Campaign, ad group, keyword, match type, and 
status. That's it. Now, it's the same thing if you want to do a bid adjustment. Now, bid adjustments are much more complicated. For bid adjustments, you want to start to have your own set of rules where you're adjusting bids based on your metrics and what you know your PPC does. So for that, it's the same exact thing. You do campaign, ad group, keyword. So let's, let's do an example here for one bid adjustment. So you always want to make sure that you're looking at this. All right, now, this doesn't give you the keyword bid that you have set, but it gives you the cost per click. So let's say we are taking this keyword here. So we are going to go, go down here. We are going to put in the campaign name. We are going to put in the ad group name. We're, we're going to put in the keyword okay and max bid so max bid is what you are looking for here okay so you can change this to whatever you want so you make it a dollar five and then just make sure that this is enabled all right, so that's it. You don't, you're not adding a keyword here. So all of these we are adding, these negative terms, we're adding them. But for this keyword, we're just changing it. It's already added. So we're making sure it's still enabled, but we don't need to say what match type it is because it already knows. So that's how you can adjust existing keywords, but there's also something I want to walk through how to add new campaigns. So I've already done it here, but I want to walk through it. Okay, so say you're adding a brand new campaign, a new manual campaign. You need to do this step by step, just like you would on the front end. So you add in your campaign name. Every column here needs to have a campaign name for bulk uploads. Your campaign budget, this is something you need when adding a new campaign. Campaign start date, end date. I never put end dates for campaigns unless you're being very aggressive with the test. Campaign type, you see you can do manual or auto. They give you the drop downs here. Portfolio, if you have portfolios, you can add one in. Now, that's all you need to for the first line to do your campaign. And then campaign status, enabled. Next step, if you think about this logically, is creating an ad group. So again, every column needs the campaign name. Now you're going to create your ad groups, broad, phrase, exact, with the max, the generic max bid for each. Max bid, and then you do ad group status enabled. That's it. Next step is to add a SKU to each of these ad groups. Campaign name, ad group name. At this point, every column needs to have the ad group name. Now you've already set the max bid. So here, you're just adding your SKU to each of the ad groups, broad, phrase, exact. You would add your specific SKU. And then everything else, this has a status enabled. The only different statuses are for campaign and ad group name. And then to add the keyword, you have your campaign, your ad group, and your keyword, and your match type. And then you can set specific bids or if you want to keep your ad group bid up here. And that's it. So you repeat that process for if you want to add multiple keywords, you would just make sure that they're in the correct ad group, they're in the correct match type, and then you add whatever keyword it is. You know, if it's men's ties, if it's that, you would add it to each of the different ad groups. But I think the biggest thing here with PPC is to realize that adding negative keywords is way, way easier with bulk uploads because you can go through all of these and you can just do them all at once. You don't have to go through every single campaign. And then you always want to check once you upload these, you want to go into these specific ad groups and just make sure that those are in there, that they actually worked. 
because sometimes you'll get some errors and they won't show up but they'll they'll tell you if you get the errors they'll, they'll tell you what went wrong all right now this was a very quick insight on bulk uploads there's a lot more you can do with these but i think this is a good tool for everyone to have especially with negatives because they're very tedious to do by themselves all right hope you enjoyed the video